I received a microscope type AD246S from the company Endonstar. Two things made a lasting impression on me from an early age. Magnets and optical lenses, so I gladly accepted the offer to test the microscope. In addition to the microscope, the package includes a 7 inch screen, a total of 3 different lenses, light sources for reflective and transmittive microscopy, a couple of slides with sample preparations and some small parts. As always, high resolution photos of all parts can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. The assembly of the microscope is done quickly, only a few parts have to be mounted and all steps are well illustrated in the manual. The base and bracket are made of metal and look sufficiently solid. The height of the microscope can be roughly adjusted along the tube and fixed at any position with a knurled nut. The fine tuning is done via an adjusting wheel, with the help of which a stroke of up to 29mm is available. The microscope is ready for use in a few seconds after switching on. The live image of the camera appears on the screen. The microscope draws a current of 480mA. With the lights at maximum brightness, the current is 750mA, with that, the microscope can be operated for several hours via a power bank. The lens fitted first allows focusing at distances from 12mm up to 320mm. The closer the lens is to the object to be observed, the higher the resulting magnification. Especially with a small distance, it is advantageous that the LED lights with the flexible attachment can also be brought close to the objects in order to sufficiently illuminate the narrow gap. A large distance simplifies working on the object being observed. The smaller the objects, the better a higher magnification factor and this is what lens number 2 is good for. Swapping lenses is done by loosening two screws... ...taking out the first lens without dropping it... And finally screw on lens number 2. This lens is suitable for an object distance of 90 to 300mm. Compared to the first lens, there is a larger magnification with the same object distance. The tubes of the lenses are made of plastic, but the manufacturing precision is sufficiently to get well focused images. The lenses are well protected, hidden inside the tubes. The third lens is designed for a small object distance of only 4 to 5 mm. With such small gaps, illuminating from above or from the side is nearly impossible, so the transmittive light source is needed now. In order to get this LED powered, the plug must be disconnected from the reflected light source and plugged into the transmitted light box. 
that Lightbox works best on transparent objects. Included in the package are a couple of sample preparations. When focusing on the tube, it can be seen that the microscope isn't rock solid. As soon as you touch the adjusting screw, the focus point shifts visibly. The same applies to the height adjustment wheels. Both the mechanics on the tube... As well as the height adjustment works smoothly, the mechanisms aren't that bad. Focusing is therefore a bit fiddly, but overall it works well. With the remote control you don't have to touch the microscope when triggering photos or video sequences. With that you can take well focused shots. Image data is stored on a microSD card, which, somewhat difficult to reach, is inserted at the back of the screen. The microscope must be switched off when changing the SD card. Not only can still images and video sequences be recorded by remote control, but all settings can also be made. If the 7 inch screen is too small for you, you can connect a larger monitor or a projector via the HDMI interface. The microscope is therefore also suitable for presentations in front of a larger audience. The USB interface is not only used for power supply, but also allows the microscope camera to be used as a webcam by a PC. Here I'm demonstrating this with VLC Media Player on Linux Mint 21.1 on my oldish laptop. The video stream is displayed smoothly and can be recorded if required. There is a lot of cheating when it comes to the magnification factor, so I'll give you a rough estimate of what small structures can be captured with the optics. I start with lens A, which is first brought to the maximum height. The camera captures 22mm of the ruler. At the minimum distance, only about 6mm of the ruler are displayed. With lens L, 76mm are captured at maximum height and so minimum magnification. At the minimum height only a little more than 2mm can be seen.
Since the millimeter scale of the ruler is gigantic for a microscope, an everyday object is used as the next reference grid, a smartphone screen. The display is composed of a regular grid of colored dots. The approximately 2.2mm correspond to 36 pixels on the smartphone screen. For the third lens I only use the smartphone screen as reference. The magnification varies between 66... and 15 pixels on the smartphone screen. With this lens let's take a look at the sample preparations. The aspect ratio of the recorded still images is 4 to 3. These are saved with a resolution of up to 5600 times 4200 pixels, which in no way corresponds to the physical resolution of the camera chip. The images are upscaled by software. LSUSB under Linux shows 1920 x 1080 as the maximum resolution of the connected hardware. However, the image quality is sufficient to dive into the fascinating world of the microcosm. Videos are stored on the microSD card with a resolution of up to 2880 x 2160 pixels and are therefore obviously also upscaled. From a purely mathematical point of view, this results in an aspect ratio of 4 to 3, but these videos are displayed in 16 to 9 format without the objects being distorted. Sounds strange, but that's how it is. Search for the keyword storage aspect ratio and display aspect ratio if you are interested in the details. As always, more information, all microscope images made for this video and even more shots, as well as many photos of the device itself and its accessories can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. With that you can get your own impression of the capabilities of the Endon Star 8246S. Have a click! Thanks for watching and I'll be back!